Now we present Herbert Marshall as The Man Called X, the Saturday night feature on NBC's five-show festival of comedy, music, mystery, and drama, brought to you by the makers of Anison for fast relief from pain of headache, neuritis, neuralgia. And by RCA Victor, world leader in radio, first in recorded music, first in television. Herbert Marshall as the man called X. Wherever there is mystery, intrigue, romance, in all the strange and dangerous places of the world, there you will find the man called X. Here is something you should know if you ever suffer from the sudden pain of headaches, neuritis, or neuralgia. It is a way to ease the pain, often within a few minutes. A way that is incredibly fast and effective. It's Anison. Anison is like a doctor's prescription. That is, Anison contains not just one, but a combination of medically proven active ingredients in easy to take tablet form. Thousands of people were first introduced to Anison through their own physicians or dentists. But today, these tablets are in such widespread use that all drug counters have them and anyone may enjoy their benefits. Next time you suffer from the pains of a headache, neuritis, or neuralgia, by all means try Anison. You like the convenience of Anison tablets, and you will be delighted with Anison's incredibly fast action. A N A C I N. Anison. Ask for Anison by name today at your druggist's. <laughs> It's a gray day and a cold wind whips the airstrips, but the flight tower at LaGuardia Field is doing business as usual. At 12.04, it brings in the liner from Dublin and lands it safely. The wheels chopped and the doors opened. Ken Thurston comes down the steps and hurries across the ramp. Yes, it's a gray day, all right, dark and cold. But the voice that greets Ken is bright with the warmth and innocence of springtime. Hello, Mr. Thurston. Hey, gone. What a happy coincidence, eh? Imagine meeting you here. Yeah, just imagine. How did you get hold of my schedule? Well, I just accidentally happened to see the cablegram on Miss Brooks' desk. And I mean, I... Uh... Coincidence, yeah. Well, I thought I... Welcome to New York, Mr. Thurston. Here, let me carry your bag. No, thanks. And no, I won't loan you a hundred bucks. So long. Wait a minute, Mr. Thurston, wait. Now, how could you even think that I only came out here to borrow money? Besides, I need three hundred. Really broke, eh? Oh, flat as a flounder. I've only got 50 or 60 bucks left, and, and of course, that's nothing. Nothing? Is inflation that bad? And I've only been away a week. How about it, Mr. Thurston, eh? After all, it's, uh, it's only money, and Hold I... it, Pagan. Huh? You, you mean that guy there by the guardrail? Yes, he looks like... Uh, by George, it is. Is it? Yeah, I mean, is who I mean? Pedro and Dolera. Pedro! It must be him. He turned around. Pedro, wait a second. Hey, Hey, look, he's running away. Yeah, now what the devil... He crawled under that guardrail. He's on the ramp. I can't understand what he... Pedro! That plane! He don't see! Pedro, look out! Ah! Hey, Mr. Oh, my... oh, Mr. Thurston, no, Mr. Thurston. Yeah. He... he ran straight into that propeller. <laughs> Well, uh, what I did was make arrangements at the receiving desk, Ken. An intern is bringing the contents of his pockets up from the morgue. Okay, Chief. We, uh, we can wait in here. I called police headquarters. They've got nothing on him. I still can't understand why he ran away from you. Nor can I, Chief. I hadn't seen or heard of Pedro since that sabotage case in Panama in 19... Wasn't it? 1944, yeah. Hmm, he was mixed up in that, wasn't he? Probably. He was dismissed for lack of evidence, though. So that certainly couldn't be the reason he was terrified enough to run into a plane propeller... Well, here's the stuff. What stuff, Pagan? Well, the stuff from that dead guy's pockets. What else? Well, how did you get hold of it? Oh, I just told the intern I'm a special agent of the Bureau. What do I do with it? Zell Schmidt, for the last time, I'll... So help me, I'll... So what's the beef, Mr. Chief? I'm only trying to be useful. All right, Pagan. Dump it here on the table. Okay, Mr. X. It really don't demand that much. You, uh, look through it, huh? Well, I... <laughs> I peeked a little, uh, There. Uh... 38 revolver, 
Loaded to. Mm. Return airline <laughs> ticket to Cuba. Made out to Pedro Andalera, Hotel Metropole, Havana. Yeah. The Pan American plane landed right ahead of us. That means he'd just arrived. Chief, you know it's funny there's not one cent of cash in his. Pig, uh. Mr. Thurston, I. I hope you're not thinking that, that I might have. <laughs> Hand it over. But I swear by the father of my father. How I... much was there? Oh, $184. And... All right, all right, there it is. After all, money isn't evidence, and, and he won't need it anymore. And... Ken, Ken, look at these pamphlets. Yes, printed in Spanish. Instrucciones para la sab... Good Lord. Yes. Detailed instructions for various methods of sabotage. Yes, with drawings and diagrams. <laughs> How to disable power stations. Methods of destroying public water supplies. Construction of booby traps. If this stuff's being put out in quantity... <sighs> why, it's dynamite. Dynamite is treason. It's chaos and murder. But who printed them, Mr. Thurston? They're not even signed. They don't have to be signed. Chief, I think the best bet is Havana. We've got no lead on Pedro's contacts here in New York. All right, Ken. Follow it up. In whatever way is necessary. Well, as far as I know, there's only one way to deal with a spreading infection. You find the center of it, and you eliminate it. Here we are, Mr. Thurston. And what a crummy-looking dump. Nobody asked you to come along, Pig. You should have stayed in New York. <laughs> With all my creditors? How could I afford it? Which reminds me... Sorry, I... no loans. Not even ten bucks? I mean, just for tips? No, not even. Uh, uh, this mucellarium is worse inside even than outside. I'll bet they never even heard of plumbing. This is the dirtiest joint I... Senores. Oh. Good morning, Senorita. Senores, if the Hotel Metropole is too ordinary for your fastidious taste, why don't you go somewhere else? But I... It's just Pagan's idea of humor, senorita. Are you the manager? I am not. Ring that bell there on the desk if you want the manager. Well, thanks. You're Americans, no? That's right. Americans. Why don't you go back where you came from? Why don't you stay there? Always running around the world, sneering, bragging... I hate all of you. Anka. Why don't you Anka, stay what's home? What's going on here? Seems the young lady doesn't quite like us. Anka, this is no way to talk. You must stop it at no, once. Americans. I don't even care to stay in the same room. What a flamethrower she is. My apologies, senores. I am Lovila, the manager. May I help you? Yes, we'd like a couple of rooms. But of course. You sign here and I will have the boy show you. I should like Pedro Andalero's room. Pedro's? But... <laughs> He is not here now, of course, but uh, he is coming back tonight. No, he won't be back. He's dead. Dead? What, what happened to him? He threw himself into the propeller of an airplane. But why, senor? I thought maybe you could tell me why. N no, senor. I, I know nothing about it. What do you know about Pedro? Pues... Nothing, senor. Well, he lived here, didn't he? You see, he lived here for... Oh... Maybe two, three months. But I, I know nothing about him. Well, did you have any friends, visitors? Can sabe, in a hotel like this, people come and go all the time. Whether to see him, I do not know. After all, oh, senor... All right, let it go. Have your room available across the hall from Pedro's? Uh, let me see. Pedro has number 44. 44. And, uh, see... The, the room across from it is empty. Number 45. Good. We'll take the two of them. But I... I am not certain it is permitted, senor. The police should be notified. I've and... already seen the police. Here. Here's your authorization. Bueno. In, in that case... Uh, Miguel, venga, sir. Me llamo, senor Vilo. It, it was very nice of you to rent number 45 for me, Mr. Thurston. You'll be in 44, Pagan. Yes, I was afraid I might have to sleep in the park, you know. Uh, oh... Oh, no. Oh, no. No, you don't. What's the matter? You know what's the matter. 44 is Pedro's room. 
I'm not going to be the live bait in this in this booby trap. All right, then. Go find yourself a room somewhere else. But I'm broke. You know I spend all my money for plane fare. Well, in that case... Oh, oh, what a sitting bull I turn out to be. A clay pigeon. A clay pigeon, that's all I am. Alone in the room all afternoon. Any minute now, it's getting dark. And, and then what? Oh, why don't Mr. Thurston come back? Why don't he... <gasps> Maybe if I keep still, they'll go away. Hey, Gong. They know my name. Who, who is it? Come on, Pagan, open up. Mr. Thurston, boy, am I glad to see your face. Just wait till I move this, this sofa and this lamp and, and, and this table and the chair and the bed. Uh, now, now. Um, hello, Mr. Thurston. What the... You expecting an invasion? With sabotages all around, who knows what to expect? Oh, you weren't in any danger. Pedro wasn't due back from New York until half an hour ago. So why should anyone try to contact him? <laughs> now I find out. Now, pull down those blinds and turn on the lights. Might as well make it look as though someone's home. Sure, sure. Did you find out anything around town about that Pedro character? Not a thing. I'm hoping somebody will try to get in touch with him here. Lovilo is keeping quiet about his death. Well... There's sure not much low down in his room. Uh, nothing but few clothes and some empty sardine cans and and some food cans in the closet. I, I, he must have lived on sardines. Maybe. But there could be another reason for... Answer it, Pago. I'll cover you from the closet. But, Mr. Thurston, maybe... Go ahead, Pago. I... I, I'm coming. Don't shoot, I surrender. I sh what are you saying? I... I... <laughs> I said, I, well, I'll come right in, you luscious little free holy. Who are you? What are you doing here in this room? Never mind, baby. Why don't we sit right down here on the sofa? You sit there. I think I like this chair by the window better. Where's Pedro? Suppose you tell us about Pedro, senorita. Oh, Mr. Thurston, I didn't even need to be covered. Who are you? What has happened to Pedro? What are you doing here? What's your name? Paquita. All right, Paquita. What do you know about those little booklets Pedro was distributing? You are the police. Are you in on the scheme, too? No, 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 I know nothing. Who are his friends? Who's, who's he been working with? I, I, I do not know. Where does he print the stuff? I, uh, senor, maybe we can get to be friends. How no? long have you been tied up with Pedro? I know nothing about this business. I'm only... You see, girlfriend, and I... Hang on. Snap off those lights and hit the floor. Huh. The shot must have come from that open window straight across the court. Too dark to... Mr. X, I think she's hurt. Here, yeah, let me shave this flashlight. Easy now, Paquita. Tell me who it was. It's no use, senor. I, w I wish to know Pedro. He's... He's... Island expert... Company. Island. Island Export Company. See, si. tell, tell Miguel I'm sorry. Miguel? I, I want. Uh... Mr. Thurston, is she. Yeah. What she was trying to say there? What's it mean? It means we've finally got a lead. Come on, Pega. Let's have a look at that room across the court. <laughs> We'll continue with The Man Called X in just a moment. Here's a word from RCA Victor. What's the television picture today? Well, one thing's for sure, the television picture today's a big one. More and more people are enjoying it every day and on bigger and bigger television screens. Why not start your family at the top with 19-inch television and start right with America's favorite television, RCA Victor Million Proof. That's the kind of television that well over a million families have chosen for their homes. Yes, you get a bigger value, too, with your 19-inch RCA Victor. You can watch those big million-proof pictures comfortably whether you're close up 
or clear across the average living room. And here's another thing that's important to you. Only RCA has a nationwide service company to install your set and to give you continued service wherever you live. Ask your television dealer about the RCA Victor factory service contract. And remember, you can buy this contract only with RCA Victor television. It's one more big reason for making your choice a big 19-inch RCA Victor. Now, act two of The Man Called X, starring Herbert Marshall, with Leon Velasco as Pagan Zellschmidt. A few small pamphlets found in the pocket of a man killed accidentally in New York threaten the security of the whole Western Hemisphere, bring the Bureau instantly alert, and send Ken Thurston by fast plane to Havana, Cuba. Now another person has died, this time by a bullet, and Ken and Pagon approach the room from which the shot was fired. It's the next door ahead. Easy now, Pagon. Easy. <laughs> I'm not even breathing. Maybe I should wait here. I don't care where you wait, but stay out of the way. I'll throw the door open and step in. Now you stay to one side. It's empty. All right. Turn on the lights. Pagon, take your fingers out of your ears. Sorry, Mr. Thurston. I just can't stand the sound of shooting, especially if it's at me. There isn't going to be any shooting. Uh -huh. Somebody fired that one shot from here and then beat it. Hey, this room hasn't even been lived in. No, it was only used for the shooting because it's straight across from ours. It was an accident. They were really shooting at I us. I doubt it. That table lamp would have thrown Paquita's shadow on the blind. No, they knew who they were after. Come on. Let's get back to the other room. Got any idea who done it, Mr. Thurston? Not exactly. Too bad, too. I just was getting acquainted with her. Oh, sure, sure. Sacre Santos del Cielo, senores. Senores, what does happen? The girl's been shot. Over in Pedro's room, Lovio. Shot? Who did it? I don't know. It was fired from a room down the hall. There's no one there now. See anybody on your way up? Nobody, senor, except Miguel, of course, who was on the elevator. Mm -hmm. Well, you better call the police. Come on, Pagan. Right away, senor. I will inform them immediately. How could anybody get away so quick, Mr. Oh, fire escape, stairway. It wouldn't be difficult to... Pagan, I closed the door of Pedro's room when, he, when we left it. Well, it's open now. Hey, maybe she wasn't really killed. Of course she was. Come on. Hmm. Nobody here. Looks just like it did before. Except for one thing. Somebody's taken those canned sardines that were lying around. Good riddance. Who cares? Seems odd, though, doesn't it? Sneaking into a murder room just to steal sardines. Oh, well, some people like them personally. I'm a gourmet myself. Yeah. One of those empty tins from the wastebasket. Smell it. I don't smell anything. That's just it. It's perfectly clean. So maybe it was washed. Ever try to wash the odor from a sardine can? I don't get what's going on around here, Mr. X. I do. But the problem is how to stop it. Well, here's the elevator, Mr. Thurston. Going down, senores. Thanks, Miguel. I have heard the most unfortunate thing happened last night. Yes, a girl named Paquita was shot to death. Senor, you have stopped the elevator between the floors. Well, that's a good place to talk. Miguel, what do you know about Pedro and Alara? Pues nothing. Except it is possible it takes many kinds of person to make the world. And you didn't like his kind, is that it? Perhaps his mother thought him a fine fellow. You see, I am something of a philosopher, senor. I see. Do you know anything about the business Pedro was in? It is enough to manage one's own affairs in these times. Maybe this is partly your affair. Senor? Paquita's last words were, tell Miguel I'm sorry. What does she mean? Pues, it is not easy to talk about. I am very sad she is dead. The thing is that Paquita was at one time my, how you call it, girlfriend. When she went to Pedro. At first I was crazy mad. Then I say, what's the difference? You see, I was getting tired of her anyway. And you know how it is with philosophers. Oh, sure. Well, let's go on down. Uh, I am very sad that she is dead, though. Did you understand? Yeah, I understand. Main floor. Thanks. Buenos dias, senores. So long, Miguel. Yeah. Quite an unusual bellhop. 
Oh, I don't know. Lots of philosophers work at jobs like that. No, no, Pagan. I mean the fact that he's wearing a shoulder holster and carrying a gun. Well, Pagan, this looks like the place. Sure it is, Mr. Thurston. See right there on the sign? Island Expert Company, office. Well, it isn't the office I'm interested in. I think our best bet is that warehouse sticking out over the water. Come on, let's go. The joint sure looks deserted. They must not do much business. With the kind of business this is, any is too much. I guess the door opens off the dock here. Boy, what a rickety dump. You know, if one of these pilings broke, the whole building would fall in the bay. Yeah, it's a master padlock. Unlocked. They're really sure of themselves. Let's go in and have a look. No windows. It's dark in here. Well, there's a light switch here by the door. <laughs> sure don't look much like a warehouse. It's not intended to. Hey, look. That's a printing press. And what's this this Rube Goldberg gadget? That is a canning machine, Pagan. What? Sure. Let's open up some of these sardines. You mean that's what is in all these boxes? That's right. All crated and ready for shipment to agents all over the Western Hemisphere. Here we are. <laughs> you hungry, Mr. Thurston? Not for this kind of stuff. Here, Pega, have a sardine. Have a sir. Look. It's full of little books. They're packed in that can't well, just like sardines. Yeah. Five ounces of treason. The perfect way to ship the stuff. Distribute it. Ah, sabotage. The rottenest game in the world. Well, I guess the, the dresses on these crates give us what we need. Sure. It's got who the stuff's going to, but, but who is sending it? The name is on the crates. Lo Vilo. We don't know of any Lo Vilo. But we know a Lo Vilo. That hotel manager, you mean he's he's no good quiet, guy who... Quiet, there's somebody coming. Get away from the door. Good morning, oh, Mr. Lovillo. Senor Thurston. Get your hands up. Si, senor, look, they are up. Uh, please do not shoot me, senor. I, I, I have done nothing. Nothing? What you call the murder of Paquita last night. What about this layout here? These pamphlets and shipments to agents with your name on the crates. You call that nothing. But I am not the one, senor. It is my sister, Anga. Hey, that's the hard-boiled little chicken who insulted us, Mr. Thurston. Si, 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 senor. She is the one. She is bitter and dangerous. Since she has come back from Europe, she has those ideas. She and Pedro forced me to help them. Help murder Paquita, for instance? No, no, I had nothing to do with it, senor. I, I swear I did not. She was the one. I will help you, senor. I will tell you anything you wish to know. Wait a second. Pay on. You smell. You mean like sardine cans or... <sniffs> Smoke. This place is on fire. <sighs> and somebody's locked the door on the outside. Lovilo. But we got to get out of here. We'll get burned up like rats in a tinderbox. Anga, she's trying to destroy the evidence. And all of us along with it. Uh, no windows. No other door. All of us. She she must not know I am here. I see. So you weren't forced. You are a full partner. Here, Pega. Let's get the handles off this press. Now, shove the bar in this crack in the floor. Yep. And let's pry it up. It's coming, Mr. Thurston. Good. Now, the next one. Uh, it's a good thing this building is so ramshackled. Senor, I, I hope you do not misunderstand. Never mind. Let's get out of here. Drop through that opening to the water, Luvillo. Go ahead, it's only ten feet. That's it, hang by your hands. Good. Come on, Pega. Maybe you don't believe it, Mr. Thurston, but I paid two hundred dollars for this suit. On credit, of course. Oh, sure. <laughs> Cheer up, Pega. If this building caves in, you'll never have to pay for it. Now swim. What are you planning to do, Senor Thurston? Use the phone here in the office and have the police pick up anger. She evidently left after she started the fire. Look at that bird. 
Oh, we sure would be a couple of dead gooses inside there. <gasps> Anga! Come in, Senor Thurston. And don't reach for a gun. Well, glad you waited, Anga. Saves us the trouble of looking for you. I, I knew you would be here, Anga. I, I knew you would think of be something. Be quiet. You're almost as weak and silly as a doll-faced Paquita. But not as pretty. That's really why you killed her, wasn't it, Anga? Jealousy. I killed her because she was a fool. She would have told you everything, like my brother. Anga, you are mistaken. I have said nothing to them. Oh, come now, Lovilo. What about the signed confession that you said was here in the office? Confession? There is no confession. You told us there was? Hidden here under the end of the rug. It's a lie. Look, Anga, I will show you Stay there where is you nothing. are. Senor Thurston, suppose you turn back the rug and hand me this little evidence of my brother's cowardice. Sure, glad to. It should be about right here. <laughs> Get a gun, Pagan. Got it, Mr. Rex, the gun. Stay where you are, Lovilo. Boy, what a dummy. Standing on a rug and letting somebody grab the other end of it. Ooh, she's out like three strikes. I perceived you are also a philosopher, Senor Thurston. Well, come and join the party. It takes a philosopher to realize there are certain times when a woman should be rendered unconscious. I guess so. Miguel, I'll take that gun of yours. This? But why, senor? It is not loaded. I only have it because of the tourists. Huh? See, si, I tell them... I was once a bandit, and it gives them the, the big thrills. Look, someone has even filed off the pin. It won't work. Here. Yeah. That's ah, useless. As useless as a plane or a gun or a power plant that's been wrecked by saboteurs. But what if you really needed that gun to protect your life or your freedom and didn't know the pin had been filed off? by a saboteur. Now, here is our star, Mr. Herbert Marshall. Thanks for being with us. And I think you'd like to know that in tonight's cast you heard Peggy Weber, Lois Corbett, Harry Bartell, Frank Gerstel, and Ted Von Elts. Next week, Japan, for a crack at one of the most dangerous underground organizations in the world today. And Pagon Zellschmidt... Sure, he'll be along as Leon Belasco, or vice versa or something. Anyhow, join us, won't you, when next I return as the man called X. Good night. The Man Called X is a Saturday night feature on NBC's five-show festival of comedy, music, mystery, and drama brought to you by the makers of Anison for fast relief from pain of headache, neuritis, neuralgia and by RCA Victor, world leader in radio, first in recorded music, first in television. The Man Called X, starring Herbert Marshall, is a J. Richard Kennedy production with music composed and conducted by Felix Mills. Tonight's story was written by Les Crutchfield. All characters and incidents on this program are fictitious, and any resemblance to actual characters or incidents is purely coincidental. Be sure to listen tomorrow evening for The Big Show with Tallulah Bankhead and the Great Parade of Stars, the Sunday night feature of NBC's All-Star Festival. And until next week, same time and same station, this is Jack Latham saying good night for The Man Called X. Now enjoy your hit parade. Tomorrow, hear the big show on NBC.